Roblox still made me run for my life. And I realized the value of a real game engine. Well, you can ask me, why did I even start using Roblox Studio in the first place then? Why did I run back to Unity like a cat running from cold? Everything has a time. Let me first show you why I switched up to Roblox. So, let's just jump back to the past. Okay, I don't want to think. It can't be that bad, right? After all, I have more than 5 years of experience on game development. What could go wrong? It's probably just a little game engine made for kids to help them to make Lego games. Well, either way, I don't need this anymore. I have a new friend now. Let's spend some time together, shall we? No, 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 never again. You're going in the trash and you're coming with me, my precious one. Well, that was a horrible experience. What was in my mind? Oh, right, I remember now. I'm gonna tell you why I ended up using Roblox G instead of the other great game engines. You probably don't know this, but I'm majoring in digital game design. What a surprise, right? Well, we have a subject named game programming. We basically learn how to code with Lua programming language in that class. If you're a Roblox G enjoyer, you probably know that Lua is used for making games in uh, Roblox Studio. We begged the professor to not start with Roblox and instead teach the class a real game engine. But at the end, here I am. I'm making this video. I learned lots of things about the engine itself in the process and how limited it is. Hey, Gray, what do you mean by limited? Stay tuned, I'll cover that in a second. Okie dokie, I'm done with my boring college story. Let's jump to the main topic of this video. So let me tell you why did I ran back to you into like a pussy. First off, I personally hate the engine itself. It has so many negative sides, but it should have some positive sides as well, right? Well, it does. And I will start with the positive sides first, because I don't want to get assassinated by the Roblox devs. First off, you is pretty simple and easy to learn. As a Unity developer, it only took me two hours to get used to it. Also, if you have a team, Roblox Studio has one of the best collaboration system I ever use in any game engine. I mean, you can just do your code, level design, whatever, and the other person is seeing that in real time. The second best part is, it's coming with an implemented multiplayer system since it's Roblox. In other game engines, you have to set up multiplayer system by yourself, and if you're putting your game on Steam, good luck with the Steam implementation, you will suffer. Ooh, but what about programming? Don't worry, Lua programming language is very easy to use and good for beginner programmers. While using it, I felt like I was using a simplified version of C Sharp with parents mode activated. Lastly, you have a built-in asset store tab in the engine itself, and all you have to do to add these unlimited assets to your game is drag and drop. In short, you can make a game on Roblox with no experience. Just drag and drop the things you want from the tab, and you're all good. Okay, I think that's all for the positive size. I hope that's enough to not get as sustained by the Roblox devs. Since now I will count the negative size, if I don't post a video next week, just burn my browser history. Please, I'm taking this risk for you. So please consider leaving a like and subscribe to support my efforts. No, no, no. Time for the bad sides. But how bad could they be, right? From my perspective, it was worse than stepping on a Lego or hitting my pinky toe to the corner of the desk. Yeah, seriously, this engine was not for me at all and here's why. Hmm, what should I say first? Oh yeah, I said it was limited at the top, so let's just start with that. I used Unity, Godot, Unreal Engine and Game Maker Studio in the past and after using those game engines, I can say that Roblox Studio feels like a joke. Even Game Maker Studio was more flexible than this engine. The UI is pretty simple but doesn't have enough tools. And the engine itself feels really old. If you look at the technologies that other game engines has, such as Unreal and Unity, it's just not close at all. I said that programming language was very simple at the top. And yes, way too simple. I mean, it's not flexible at all, and I got frustrated while using it. Another problem is you don't have any options, and can't add your own twist to your gameplay or visual style. When you open up Steam, you can see all kind of games, such as realistic ones, cartoony ones, stylized ones, and... Oh! But when you make a game on Roblox Studio, you have to make it like, you know, Roblox style, with basic graphics and limited gameplay. Lastly, the worst part is you can't even export your game. You have to release it on Roblox itself. That means only the Roblox player base can play your game and you know them. They are mostly kids who follow anime trends and that means if you don't follow the trends, you'll most likely fail. 
These are the reasons why I'm never going to use Roblox Studio ever again. It's very limited for my nature and it doesn't have the player base I want to reach. Dear Roblox devs and people wants to develop games with Roblox Studio. Before standing an assassin after me, let me tell you something. My intention in this video wasn't about saying Roblox is bad and Unity is good. So don't let the things I said to discourage you. This video was about how Roblox Studio is not support my vision and ideals. The things I've complained about was purely preferential. If you're a new game developer who wants to learn how to make games and want to reach the Roblox player base, go on, you have my full support. Don't let anything stop you and earn all of those Robux. But if you want to sell your games to a wider player base and enter the Steam market, I just have the right video for you here. Watch this video and learn how to double your income from game sales. You had my advice, go earn some Robux and cash.